All right, friends, it's this player again. We're going to read a story called The Very Greedy Bee. What sound does a bee make? Do we remember? Let's try it. Buzz. Can you do it? Very good. Buzz. All right, let's open our book. We're going to open our book, The Very Greedy Bee. I can't wait to see what's inside. In a busy, buzzy beehive lived a very greedy bee. All the other bees worked hard making honey and cleaning the hive, but the greedy bee spent all day gobbling pollen and guzzling nectar. Slurp, 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 slurp. All right, he's guzzling pollen and nectar. All right, look at all those bees. Let's turn our page. The greedy bee wouldn't share his nectar with anyone. That's not nice not to share. He wouldn't even let a tired ladybug sit on his flower. Find your own flower, he shouted. This one is mine. Hmm, do we think that's nice? No, we need to share and be friends. Can we point to the ladybug? Good job, where's our buzz, buzzing bee? Right here, very good. And when one day the greedy bee found a meadow full of the biggest, juiciest flowers he had ever seen, he decided not to tell anyone. Yummy, he buzzed, lots and lots of flowers, and they're all for me. Hmm, wow. So the bee was being very greedy and he was not sharing with others. Is that, is that kind? I think it's nice to share. It's very nice to share. The greedy bee whizzed and bizzed from flower to flower, slurping and burping and growing fatter and fatter and fatter and fatter. Oh my gosh, he got really, really, really big because he wasn't sharing. He was eating everything for himself. At last, his tummy was full and he settled down on a big pink flower in the warm yellow sunshine and fell fast asleep. All right, let's see what happens next. When the greedy bee woke up, it was dark. He tried to fly, but his tummy was so rolly and poly that biff, bang, thump, he went down instead of up and crashed, biff, bang, thump, to the ground. Oh no, what happened to our bee? Did he go up or down? Yeah, he fell down. When he tried to fly because he was too full of food from being so greedy. I'm scared, cried the greedy bee, and I don't know how to get home. Then he saw two glowing eyes in the long grass. Eek! He cried, a monster is coming to eat me. Oh no. Let's see what happens. But it wasn't a monster. It was two friendly fireflies, their bottoms glowing in the dark. What's wrong, they asked. I'm too full to fly, wailed the greedy bee, and I can't walk home in the dark. Follow us, said the fireflies, and they all set off on a long, long journey home. So even though he had been a very greedy bee, the fireflies are willing to help him. That is very nice. All right, I'm gonna turn our page. Through forest and flowers and squishy mud, over the hills and under the stars, trudged the greedy bee. He had never walked so far and he was very tired. Nearly there, called the fireflies. Then they heard a whoosh of rushing water. Uh-oh, they heard some rushing water. I'm almost home, cried the greedy bee, excited. It's the stream, and it was, but his hive was on the other side of it. Oh no, said the greedy bee, sadly flopping down the grass. How will I ever get across? We'll help you, said a tiny ant with a big leaf. Once again, people were willing to help. So these tiny ants said, we'll help you. 
The ant and his friends flip the big leaf into the water. Jump on, they cry. Helped by the fireflies, the greedy bee and the ants made their way, splishing and splashing to the other side of the stream. So look, the ants helped the bee, even though he was so greedy. They were such good friends. Let's count how many ants we see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We see ten ants. Such good counting. Hooray, I'm home, cheered the greedy bee. Where have you been? asked the other bees. I overslurped, said the greedy bee. I would never have made it home if my new friends hadn't been so kind. Now I'm going to share my best honey with them. Would you like some too? Yes, said the other bees. Let's have a party. So he realized that being greedy was not the way to go. If you're nice to friends and you share, they'll be nice and share back. And they'll help you when you need it. Everyone enjoyed a midnight feast of yummy, runny honey. All except for one very sleepy, not very happy, but not so greedy bee. They all shared the honey. The end. So the moral of this story is, it's so good to share and be friends and be nice to everybody. Because you never know when you'll need somebody. You need help and you can always go to your friends and family. Thank you so much for reading this story. It's one of my favorites. Have a good evening.